Hey everyone, Sean here. Decided to give you a quick walk around of the fleet. We're gonna start off here with the uh, 1985 Gold Grand Prix. Um, she is currently in storage after a uh, break-in attempt. So here's our our storage door and. There she is. It's, uh, 1985 Pontiac Grand Prix. I added the uh, Cooper Cobras and the American Racing Torque Thrusts. I think it has a really great look to her. Um, she's in storage here because of a break-in attempt. You can see they broke out the lock, chipped the paint, Damage the chrome trim. I don't know how well you guys can really see that. You can see it better right here where there's the damage. Messed up the paint here as well. There's a nice little scratch. And then we got the, uh, I'm guessing that's a screwdriver mark or something on this front trim. So I'll have to be trying to find replacing, trying to find replace for, replacements for that. Um, yeah, she's a solid, reliable, low mileage car with, you can see there, 23,000 miles, and that's an original 23,000, that is not 123,000. As you can see, take a look at that brake pedal. There's nowhere on that thing. If that were 123,000, there'd be wear. Look at that seat. That's immaculate. Headliner, well, that's a G body. Typical uh, saggy. She got the uh, sunroof in her. I mean, there's, there's no wear. I did replace the radio. I like Bluetooth. I like having my music. So, uh, other than that, I mean, she is stock. And we're going to fire her up here. Typical carburetor. You got to pump her a couple times. And this is a cold start. I literally just got here and decided to film this. So, uh, this, is, this is what she's like. Pump her up a few times. Oh, almost had her. There we go. Let's turn off the radio. And that's it. Like, she starts, she runs. The window, because I'm paranoid about stuff like that. See, I got some parts. Solid Chevy 305. She doesn't leak. She doesn't burn anything. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. She has been repainted. That was the original top color. She was originally two-tone. Two she was this cream color on the top. And the gold color here on the bottom. Um, frankly, I think that they uh, made the right choice when they went with the uh, all gold. And of course, because of the damage to the door there, I'm going to have to have her repainted again. Uh, maybe I can just have that touched up. I'm not 100% sure. But I mean, look at this. This is, she's dusty. She's a little dirty. That's from when I changed the oil, so don't worry about the, the marks there, that's all clean. But AC works, everything on her is just absolutely, I gotta clean this up a little bit here, it's a little, getting a little bit of surface rust, but otherwise, I mean, she is excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and pull her out and uh, I'll show you the rest. All right, we're back inside here, here. See, she just goes right in gear. 
and has no problems. Brakes work perfect. And let's take a quick walk around. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. It's a little breezy out here. I mean, look at that. She is just gorgeous. said she's a little bit dirty but I have no problem jumping in and driving her anywhere give me a better look here the interior Don't mind my receipt there. You can see the uh, and I put the little pins there so that that'll stay closed because I like to drive with the sunroof open. But other than that, I mean, she's a little bit dirty. Still got the body by Fisher. That's how you knew that GM was good back in the 80s at least. I don't think they do anything anymore. Take a look inside the trunk here. And it's full of junk. Um, with a car cover and a chair, but you got the, the RPO codes. Stan, you can see right there, the uh, lower and upper colors for the paint codes for, from the factory. Um, but she's a uh, 305, 200 R4 trans. And what was the rear end on this? I think it was a 292 or something like that. Um, I mean, solid original sheet metal back here, guys. She is well, dirty, but clean. I think you understand what I'm saying. We got the stock radio right here. She was working perfectly when I pulled her out, but just like I said, I wanted Bluetooth. We've got the factory uh, upper radiator hose was still good i just pulled her off because i replaced the radiator and it didn't fit anymore we got the factory jack so that's uh that's pretty much it she sits here in the uh ooh. apparently she has sprung a little bit of a leak Can't tell what it smells like. Maybe that's just uh, water or something. I don't have to look under and figure that one out. But so we got some other parts. We got uh, trim rings, a clutch fan, seat rails, some other tools, chrome air cleaner that I want to put on. Probably not on this one, probably on the uh, silver car. I'll show you guys that one later, but that's pretty much it. That's our uh, our walk around. Um, like I said, she's, she's stock. She's gonna stay that way for the most part, other than the wheels. And I did the uh, three row radiator just to give her a little extra cooling, uh, cooling power. But I mean, she's nice. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like the video, if you want to see something else, if you want to see more of her. Uh, like I said, the next video is probably just going to be the uh, walk around to the silver car. That's a silver 85 Grand Prix. Uh, you'll probably be able to tell. I like my Grand Prix. I especially like the G-Bodies. Um, so yeah, leave a comment, uh, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. I just realized I kind of glossed over the passenger side of the car and didn't show you guys the damage from the uh, accident, uh, not the accident, the uh, attempted break-in over there. So, show you guys that real quick. So, we can see she's all good, tires and everything. Thankfully, there's no damage to the bright work. All of that still looks fine. They must not have tried very hard on this side. The only thing that they did is right there. Sharp objects broke the hell out of the paint. So I'm gonna have to have that at least touched up right around here. And this lock here, it's still attached, but that's not working anymore. So, but otherwise, I mean, she is amazing. I'm going to go for a drive because it is a beautiful day here in uh, northern Illinois. So you guys have a great one.